Oh, hi guys, welcome back to the channel and another magic video. On today's performance, we're going to talk about cheating and gamblers. You see, you may be familiar with some of the moves that gamblers do to cheat. Uh, some of them will deal cards down and sometimes take the second card down instead of the top card. Other gamblers sometimes palm cards like that. But the most common form of cheating by a gambler is called the stack, which you may be familiar with. This is where they put in their favour several cards on top of the pack. In this case, we've given ourselves the seven of clubs, the eight of clubs, the nine of clubs, and the, oh, the ten of clubs. Not sure where that came from, but the ten of clubs. So we've got a running flush, a ten, a nine, an eight and a seven. Now what we're going to do is to take a look at these cards, the seven, eight, nine and the ten, and we're going to perform a move that you may not be familiar with. It's called the squeeze. Let me demonstrate. We'll take one of these cards, let's say the ten, okay, we'll take the ten of clubs and we'll place it on top of the pack. Now that leaves us with the seven, eight, and the nine of clubs. And we'll put those on the table in full view. This is the squeeze. Watch, if ever you see a gambler do this move, be careful. Because if we do the squeeze here, we now have one, two, three, four cards. You're not going to believe this, but the 10 is no longer here, just in case you don't believe me. It's gone. It's actually returned back to the hand of cards. Now what I'd like to do is to do this again using the four cards. You see we got the 7, the 9, the 10 and the 8 of clubs. Let's do it with the 8 and put this on top of the pack, like that. And that leaves us with the one, the two, and the three cards. We're gonna put those on the table. Watch, here's the squeeze. It looks like you're squaring the cards up. It looks like you're squaring the packet up, but watch. It's gone from here we now have the return of the card. They are the seven, the nine, the 10, and the eight is back. Now what you do is you give the cards to the audience to examine. They can check these cards in any way they like because they will swear blind that there's something odd about the cards. But you wanna take these four cards and say, look, this is great, a running flush for a gambler. I'm going to put those at the bottom of the pack face upwards and in fact if you could just hold out your hand now get the spectator to hold out the palm of their hand because what you're going to do is to put them on there and cut the pack so you cut the pack on their hand to lose the four face up cards in the center now of course a magician would do something different not the squeeze they do two clicks over your hand. The spectator will give you the cards and you spread the pack and you see that the magician has changed the four cards into the four aces. I hope you enjoyed that performance. Uh, it was done in two stages. The last bit where the four cards, the full running flush, changes into the four races. You don't need to do that. I think the performance of the card on the squeeze transferring from the pack back to the hand of cards is all you really need. But if you want to add that last bit in, then by all means do. By the way, you probably saw what was going on because this is video, there's no misdirection possible on video. So you probably did see it and it probably looked a little bit lame, that last bit. However, actually in performance, they wouldn't see what you're doing with the cards as you change those into aces. But 
we'll explain that when we get to it. The trick I believe is original because I kind of came up with this idea just by playing around with cards and different moves. But I'm sure someone in the comments will say it was invented in 1901 by this magician who published it on page 27, section B, paragraph 2 in this magic journal. So I'm sure it's been invented before, but as far as I'm concerned, it's something that I came up with just playing around with a deck of cards. So, what is it? Well, first of all, you need the four aces, a regular deck of cards, and I put these face up at the bottom of the pack to begin with. So whenever you're handling the cards, just don't go to the bottom, okay? So they're at the bottom. You need three jokers. You also need um, just four cards. Now these can be any four running sequential cards. I chose the seven, eight, nine, ten of clubs. You could have the, you know, five, six, seven, eight. You just need four cards that are running in sequence and they can be any suit. So I'll leave that up to you. But I've just got seven, eight, nine, ten and three jokers. Okay, so I've raided these from old packs of cards. So the first thing you do is you put down the eight, you put two jokers, then you put the seven, then you put the nine, and then the joker and the ten. So that is the sequence of cards. Okay, let me do that from your view. Eight, joker, joker, seven, nine, joker, ten. That is the sequence. Now these go on top of the pack. Now the first part I use just to demonstrate a couple of moves because I'm getting to this squeeze. So I'm going to reverse the top four cards, hence the reason why we started with the eight and then the seven because they're going to reverse positions in a moment. So all I do is I say some cheats when they're dealing cards do a second deal. So these are the two jokers, so I just deal that down. And some people do a palm, and I do it badly, just to demonstrate on there. Put the cards back on top. The stack is now in the correct sequence, okay? Seven, joker, joker, eight, there. You then flip the top card over, and you say, gamblers have stacks of cards. What you need to do is to get a finger break under these two cards because you're going to steal away three cards as one, the seven and the next two cards. Square them up and just take those cards and say uh, they give themselves the seven. Now I hold them in the biddle grip, which is, as you've seen on previous videos, fingers at the front, thumb at the back. and like that. You then use this, remember this is three cards as one, you use this to flip over the next, you say we've got the seven, the eight, the nine, and the ten, and you look surprised that something's gone wrong during your shuffle because this should be the ten. So you push this forward and grip it with your finger and then flip the next, you say, and there's the ten. With the cards held like this, I grip the, the back end and then just pull out the joker on top of the pack. You've now got the cards like this. You handle them as four and all you do, you start by turning these over as you go through them. We have the ten, the nine, the eight and the seven. So they've seen four cards. You can then show the four cards, four cards stacked. Flip them over and you're gonna do another spread, the seven, the eight, the nine. Now the 10 has got the two jokers behind it. You hold this as one and then I clip this with my fingers just a little bit further back, 
Okay, let me exaggerate that. So you're now showing all the cards. Keep it held at this view as you turn the joke over. Don't make a big deal of this, just, just turn this over. Everyone's clocked that, they've seen it's a joker on top of the pack. You then square the cards up and you flip these face down. Now, the reason I left this protruding is because it makes it easy to do a triple turnover. Okay, I turn three cards over to show the ten of clubs. I flip it back over and I put this so it's at an angle. So we've exaggerated it on there. They believe that's a ten. It's actually another joker. You then flip these cards over. You deal off the seven, the eight. Now the nine has got two other cards behind it. And what I do is I push this between the other two and I lay this on the table like that. So these cards are really disguising the edge of the nine if they're looking at this front end. You then do the squeeze to square this up. You do the squeeze over here. Turn them over. And you now say we have the card travel from here to here. Now I do another biddle grip here and I slide off one, two, the third card I put forward because that's the 10 and then I'm holding two cards as one here and just clip my thumb at the back here. That makes it easy to pull this out to show the 10. Now they will believe that it's on here and you convince them even more by just saying it really has gone from here. That's a great little extra bit because subconsciously you've never made a big deal about the Joker over here, but they're now convinced that the 10 really did travel across. You put this on top, you then need to transfer the three cards to the bottom and you're going to repeat the whole moves again. You flip this over, you count the seven, the nine, the 10, and the eight. You clip it further back, same as we did before with the 10, because we're getting ready to do a double lift in a moment. At this stage, turn over the joker again, flip the packet over, do a double lift to show the eight, and apparently deal that down. Of course, that's the other joker. You put that across there. This time, you count the one, the two, and the three cards onto the table. Once again, I'm leaving these face down before we had them face up. So face down, you do the squeeze and the squeeze, and magically, you can spread these to say, there's now four cards. You then square the cards up and you can flip these face up and deal them down to say we have the seven, the nine, the ten, and there's the eight. And you can even turn this over just to show them that it's a joker again on there. And that's the performance. You can now end this at that point. They've seen two transpositions of two cards from the pack to your hand of cards. And I think that in itself is a great performance. Again, with my gambling theme, you might want to come up with something different or even come up with some other kind of trick. Maybe two chosen cards jump back to the pack or something like that. I'm sure you'll come up with something. Now, if you do want to do the ace part, getting these to turn in, give these to the spectator and say, just examine those cards. As you pick the pack up, say examine those cards, flip this over, and then just turn the pack over like that. Okay, remember these are the four races. Keep it square. They've examined them, and you take them back, and you say, look, if I was a magician, I could take a running flush, put them at the bottom, face up. Ask them to hold their hand out. In the moment of them putting that down, you're gonna just turn the whole pack over onto their hand, 
and say, look, let me just cut those running flush into the center of the pack. The trick is done. They've got their hand over the top. You do a couple of magical passes. When they open their hand, you spread the cards and it looks as though their four club cards have now changed into aces. There's no other face-up cards. And I think it's a nice little finish, but you may prefer not to do that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Have a little practice with it. See what you come up with. Any ideas you can suggest, put them in the comments below. Till next time, as always, practice and enjoy.